Welcome to my tutorial video. This is part 6 of my how to digitize your lettering tutorial videos. My name is Nick and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add textures to your lettering. It's really very simple. In the last video, I showed you how the color your lettering work. So here is what we have from our last tutorial video. Here is what we're going to do to it. What I love about adding textures is that it makes your lettering piece look raw or a bit unrefined. It gives it a more handmade, handcrafted look. So in this tutorial video, I'm not really going to show you a very detailed process on how to make your own textures. I'll just give you a texture that I made for free and then I'm going to teach you how to apply that texture to your lettering piece. So the link to the free textures is down below. Just click on it, download it, and then you can follow these steps so that you'll be able to use or apply that texture to your lettering work. But if you want to make your own textures, it's quite simple. You just take a photo of a texture that you like. For example, if you want this wooden table, you could take a photo of this table. You could also take a photo of concrete outside or anything that you like the texture of. And then we're just going to use the adjustments link the vibrance, exposure, levels, curves, and brightness and contrast. Just use those adjustments layers to turn that photo into a texture that you could use for a lettering. So here is a fast-forwarded version. If you want to know more about the adjustments layer that I use, you could go back to part two of this tutorial series. In that tutorial video, I briefly explained the different adjustments layer that I used. So here's a video. And now, we're going to apply the texture into your lettering board. If you download the texture file that I made, you'll notice that there's one that's colored black and the other one is colored white. Since our lettering is colored black, we want to use the file with the color black background and white specs. So that's what we're going to use to add textures to our lettering work. But if you want to add the texture to your background, use the white background file with the black specs. That's the difference between the two files. Now go ahead and drag that texture file, the one with black background, drag that file into Photoshop and bring that layer to the topmost layer. Next, what we're going to do is select all layers of the lettering and then you right click on the texture layer, click on add clipping mask or you could hit on Control shift g if you're using Photoshop CC like me and then change the blending mode to screen to hide all the blacks, only show the color whites of that texture layer. It's as simple as that. So this is actually your finished lettering work. You have here lettering piece arranged and styled. You also added a texture to it. So that is already your finished lettering piece. On the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to arrange your notebook and your pens and other items to get a flat lay photo to use for a lettering piece. So part 7 of this tutorial video series is going to be about that. That's it. Thank you for watching. Go give this video a thumbs up if you've learned something. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorial videos. If you have any video requests, just comment them down below and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!